Hi guys, it's Lee Daniel, and this morning I was thinking about the impact of uh, the coronavirus on all the people that have court orders, and suddenly it occurred to me that child support is going to be impacted. And I want to share with you that even though you have uh, less income, even though you may have been laid off, even though your business may be affected, you do not get to waive your child support. It's exactly the same as I talked about on the visitation. The child support order is going to continue to accrue until you file a modification. Now, you're thinking, well, I don't know how long this is gonna last. I don't either, and let's hope not long. But if you have a child support obligation, and let me just give you a hypothetical. If you owe $500 per month, and you don't pay it and you don't do anything about it and then the next month it rolls over and you continue to accrue and you know and maybe you're even talking to the person you're paying child support and maybe you're even saying I can't afford to pay you this is happening and maybe that person says it's okay well that doesn't matter because an extrajudicial agreement between you and the person you're paying made outside of court does not stop the child support from accruing you can't make that agreement that's binding on the court. Even if you trust him now, I can tell you that is not a good idea. Not to say that people can't work together and be trustworthy, but I've done this way too long not to see that many times people have a side agreement and the next thing you know, there you are in court. So you're thinking, well, what do I do if I don't have the money to pay my child support? Well, I'm afraid that, that there are only a couple options. One, you write it out. The money is going to accrue, and it's going to accrue with interest. So it will be, um, you know, each month there will be interest on it, and you will owe that amount at the end of the time. When you start paying again, you're going to owe that arrearage plus the interest. And so it's not going to be forgiven just because you didn't have the money to pay right then. Does that make sense? Probably not because you're thinking, well, that's not fair. Everybody's giving us breaks. Well, I know, but until something changes with the law, the law is still in place. And the law says that in order to get the modification, you have to have a court order. And as we know, can't get in front of the judge right now. So what do we do? Well, if you are facing severe financial hardship right now, uh, as many people are anticipating, then what you have to do is you have to file a petition to modify the child support. And you're thinking, oh, that sounds horrible because that's going to cost money too. Well, it is, of course. But um, I was thinking about what I could do to help, and, I, and I'm willing to um, do it for a third of, I mean, I, I'm, I'm basically just making it as it goes along, and it's not a good idea for a lawyer, is it? But I'm, I'm willing to work with you on filing it. You're going to have to have your court costs, and you're going to have to have some deposit down on the case. But once I get it filed and get the deposit on the case, we won't do anything until money is flowing again. And the reason why you have to file something is because you have to put uh, it in the court and it, the court can rule that it goes retroactive. So instead of, let's say, you don't file anything and 500 is running and 500 is running and 500 is running, the court can say, I'm going to go back to the date that you filed. So mid March, I'm going to go back. And so probably April would be the first day. I'm going to go back to that day if you file now. And I'm going to relieve you of that obligation. Or I'm going to say you don't owe from that time. They're going to modify it from that time. Because if you don't do anything and ride it out, and, I, and let's just hope that it's over soon. I am crossing my fingers and toes and everything else because it's horrible for the economy. It's horrible for the people that are sick. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable, honestly. But this child support situation, like I said, I was just sitting there and all of a sudden I just went, oh, oh my gosh, this is really going to be a problem. And if you are that person who is receiving child support, I know this is going to be so trying on you. And all I can tell you is if that person doesn't file, 
to get a modification, then after all this is over, they're still going to owe you that money plus interest. And then we can file a con well, it, they're not going to be in contempt because it, if you don't have the ability to pay, but that doesn't mean they're going to be out spending their money to stockpile their wine collection because they're at home all the time or they spent 10, you know, all their money on pizza. Sounds like what I'm doing, pizza, <laughs> spending lots of money on pizza. It, it means that they legitimately don't have the money to pay the, pay the child support. Then they're not going to be in contempt of court, but they are still going to owe the money. I know this may sound like a, a, a big legal lesson, but somebody um, sent me a message this morning and said, thanks for your video because it really helped me know what to do. I really do want to help people. Uh, I know that this is causing a major um, hiccup in the economy, in the world, in the way we live. And I do want to help as much as I can. So um, if you know somebody who is, has got a child support obligation, you know somebody who is getting paid child support and maybe um, they need to know what's going to happen if somebody doesn't pay them, then direct them to this video. Uh, I am going to do a post that I can boost just to share it with, because uh, I can't boost the video, but I am sending you all love and understanding and everything I can to tell you that, that we want to help here and we're doing our best to help our clients and the people that are calling and coming in to see us now. Um, we're going to do our very best. So thank you guys and have a great day and stay safe.